Hi, I'm Lou, and I'm a past graduate of the Youth Opportunities Personal Leadership Program. I am also your week three Youth Ambassador for the Make or Break Challenge. Before Youth Opportunities, I was your typical uncertain teenager, but the program really helped me make habits of communication and break habits of reading novels way too late at night. Joining me today is Jane Doyle. Well, I've been involved with Youth Opportunities, as you may or may not know, for quite a number of years now. And one of the reasons I love the organisation is because it does exactly that. For young people like you, it enables um, young people who, for whatever reason, aren't getting those habits formed in their teenage years. So I think it it offers an opportunity for young people to go into working life, as you're finding, with some skills that then equips them to do really well in those early years because um, it is difficult making the transition from study, from teenage years, from adolescence into a working life, especially if you make it suddenly. I'm at the other end of the spectrum and I'm making uh, a transition from full-time work after a very long and successful career, which I've loved, but deciding that I want to do some other things. So rather than making a habit, I'm trying to break a habit of a lifetime at the moment in the middle of this challenge. And that is, I hate to admit it, but it's true, I'm a massive procrastinator. I leave things to the very last minute. Uh, and of course, ironically, that's been really helpful in my career because news is always last minute. So I'm one of those people that, you know, with a, with a deadline, I'm really good at meeting the deadline, but I'm seldom ready ahead of the deadline. So I think as I age, it will be better if I can break that habit a little and become a little more prepared because anxiety tends to beset me if I'm working up against personal deadlines as hard as I used to work against professional deadlines. And I recognise that uh, it's a lot easier on yourself if you are ready ahead of time, even just a little bit ahead of time for something that you, you are committed to. So what's the habit you're trying to build? The habit specifically is to write every day, um, but I can also add, you know, run once a week and, you know, keep cooking on Sunday so that I can have lunches throughout the week and not, not be spending money on that. And two of those are going pretty well. That's fantastic. Yes. Thank you. That's fabulous. So is there any advice you'd give anybody out there who's struggling with the, the challenge at the three-week mark? What would you suggest they do? Re review their lists, perhaps, or any other suggestions? Review the lists. Make a list if you haven't got one. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing that I've found is when you're partway through something and coming up against a barrier, um, it's going back to the problem. Because it's really easy to think of Oh, for example, with my, my habit of writing an hour a day. So the solution is just to sit down and do it. It's really simple, mm. but that's, that's the solution to the whole problem. And oftentimes I've already been telling myself that it's not quite helpful, but returning to the problem of why I'm not sitting down, is it because I'm reading this other book and, oh God, that's better than anything I'm writing at the moment. Is that a mental barrier or is that just the sheer fact of, this other book is great and I'm enjoying it and mm. I don't want to write. And so when you're breaking that down and looking at what's not necessarily going wrong, but what the barriers and challenges specifically might be, then it could turn into this uh, situation of, well, reframing this book that I'm reading. That's, um, has the side benefit of teaching me what good writing is. And it doesn't then matter whether it's your specified hour a day. It might be that you spend 15 minutes that day, but that's more valuable in terms of giving you a springboard for tomorrow and the day after and the day after. So Absolutely. Yeah, yeah when you're kind of building the longer thing, it, it's that focusing on the exciting bits and just doing small, small steps, small 15-minute blocks, and then maybe another 15-minute block. And then all of the cool ideas I had yesterday were well, suddenly they've been in the back of my head and they're already down on paper. So I can come back to them, get excited, flush them out. And then I've spent an hour writing and I didn't even realize it. That's right. That's right. Well, it sounds like you're doing well at the three week mark or four week three. You've four still got a three. few days to go. Yes, we do. And I think I'm making progress too. I'm still making my lists and I'm still trying to make sure that I don't leave everything in a certain box to the last minute that I'm 
peeking inside and doing a little bit before I open the whole lid and think, oh my goodness, I've got to get this done in a whole hurry. So let's hope we both make it through. Yes. And um, hope that everyone else on the program is doing really well with their make it or break it habits. Yeah, absolutely. Here's to ticking things off. Indeed. <laughs>